Mga ate at mga kuya, welcome back to Kuya Putwa's channel. Kung di nyo po alam, dito sa Canada, merong mga food banks. Ano ba yung food banks, Kuya Puto? So, kung yung pamilya nyo po, naghihirap, wala po kayong makain, can't do groceries, there's a program that the government has had for God knows how many years as far as I can remember. You know, there's designated areas where you can go and they will give you food. They will give you groceries because nobody, and I mean nobody, should starve dito sa Canada. We are a first world country and it's always been like that. Yung pagkain po dito dapat hindi problema. And the government has, has done an amazing job, you know, having this program present until today. And you know what? Yung food bank po, it hits me close to my heart. Because over the years as I was growing up, marami po akong mga kakilala, mga kaibigan, hindi na po kami nalalayo. Yung pong misis ko dati, you know, naghihirap po sila. Nung bata sila, you know, they've had to rely on the food bank maybe once or twice. You know, so it's a very, very important service. And masakit po sa akin pag naririnig ko na mayroon pong mga umaabuso doon. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So guys, this morning, meron pong news all over Canada na nagsasabi na dito sa Brampton, not Brentford where I live, but Brampton, Ontario, uh, it's considered GTA, Greater Toronto Area. You know, it's a big city over there, pa malapit sa Toronto. Yung mga food banks, they have started to refuse some people. And nagtaka ako, food banks will never refuse the needy because that's what they're there for. And then, meron po ako na, na panood na video. And naliwanagan po ako kung bakit. Uh, yung po mga food banks, not just one, but several, and I think there's gonna be more following, they started to refuse international students. Ang taka ako. Bakit yung international student pupunta sa food bank? Hindi ba, bago ka ma-approve para maging international student ka, is you have to prove that you have money. Because to be an international student dito po sa Canada, it's not a right, it's a privilege that's only available to some dahil sobra po talaga ng mahal para maging international student kayo dito. So you have to prove to the government initially na kaya ninyo. Okay? But for some reason, the news said that there's so many of these international students sa Brampton, they are abusing the food banks. Doon po sila pumupunta dahil, I guess, I don't know, sa isip nila, they were uh, maybe misinformed na it's not free food, okay, for everybody. It's food that these organizations that are set up by the government to provide for the needy. Kung international student kayo dito sa Canada, guys, needy ba kayo? You shouldn't have to be because if you are, you never would have been approved to come here to begin with. And napakadami pong Canadians, they are outraged. Like, utterly outraged. Outrage, galit na galit po sila. Dahil, you know, ako po, marami po ako nakilala over the years, kaibigan, even pamilya, na gumamit ng food bank dahil talagang walang-wala sila. And then now, we hear news about international students na dapat may pera, pumunta dito para mag-aral, you know, ginagamit yung food bank. Not only ginagamit, but inaabuso nila. So, you know what? Let's watch this and uh, you tell me what you think. You be the judge, okay? Food banks have never been as important as they are today. In March, 2 million people used a Canadian food bank. But now some food banks aren't accommodating everyone anymore. And one type of client may no longer be welcome. Is all these young kids coming with their backpack saying they want help? Here at St. Louis Outreach Food Bank in Brampton, students from outside the country aren't served anymore. But they're just raiding anywhere to get anything they can. We can't handle that, you know? No, all, everyone's running out of food. 
Food Bank has a whiteboard out front during opening hours. It says government regulations allow it to exclude international students. But is there a policy? I mean, you were telling somebody was telling my colleague that there's a policy. I think it, it's on the window, sir. The policy. Yes. The food bank posts a copy of what the government expects of international students coming to study here, that they be self-sufficient. Not in union, guys. You have to be self-sufficient if you apply here to become an international student. It does not mean na pupunta kay dito and then you're gonna use all of the services that are meant for the needy. If you're an international student, ibig sabihin po nun na pre-approved kayo with proof na kaya yung tustusin na mga gastahin dito. Not to take away from the needy. Kakaawa po talaga yung mga pumupunta doon sa food banks. Okay? Dahil they are people that are down on their luck. They can't even afford groceries. If you can afford to come here and pay whatever exorbitant fees and tuition and living expense and all of that, you shouldn't be going to food banks. You know, let's leave the food banks alone for the people that really, really need it. Okay? Dahil sabi nga po nila, Kung di mo kailangan pumunta sa food bank, tapos pumunta ka, you're taking away from somebody that actually needs it. And mali po yun. Yung pong pamilya namin. You know, we support the food bank because we know the good that they provide. Lalo na ngayon sa winter, marami pong homeless. Isipin nyo kung homeless kayo. Wala na nga kayong titiran. Wala pa kayong makain. You know, food banks are one of the, the last places that, you know, they can find refuge and they can find sustenance. They can find help. Ako po, hindi po ako maramot na tao. Lalong-lalo na sa pagkain. You know, you come to me. If I see that you're in need, kung pagkain lang, bibigyan kita. Kaya lang, huwag niyong abusuhin. I'm not gonna name any ethnicities, okay? They basically generalize. Sabi nila, you know, they had like students coming in with backpacks treating the food bank like a grocery store for free and sa atin po it all comes down to delicadesa okay guys ano ba ibig sabihin ng delicadesa sabi po ni google babasahin ko na to okay delicadesa it's a value deeply ingrained in the filipino culture and refers to a sense of appropriateness decency discretion in one's actions and decisions. Let's continue the video. Kenny, a Nigerian student who says he has a wife and daughter showed up for food. He asked that his face not be shown. I asked why he didn't come with enough money. I had a projection of how I was going to spend the money that I came in here with, but probably the, I, didn't, I didn't plan well. I don't know if I didn't plan well. I don't know if, if the economy was the opposite of what I thought it was. The food bank's board president says they were told some international students have money in the bank. There's been a lot of abuse with people that come with $50,000, $60,000 in the bank, and they just want to get free food. With 2,600 local families to help feed, she says the international students are too much. Food banks have seen foreign videos like this one online describing food banks as a place to get free food. So it's kind of a trend now that everyone's actually been advertised to just come here and immediately come to a food bank. Even though it's very expensive, it's still very affordable for the people that are bombarded. Kenny is looking for another place to get help. I'll have to go home. I'll find a way to survive. So guys, this is so wrong in so many different levels. Yung po mga international student na inaabuso yung mga food banks, not only do they, you know, are taking away from people that actually need it, they are posting this on social media, saying that, hey, come here, you can get free food here, you don't have to go to the grocery store. Napakamali po niyan. This is not directed towards Filipino uh, international students or or any ethnicities for for that matter this is a generalized statement po kung makita niyo po mga homeless dito sa Canada lalo na sa winter maawa po kayo and for anybody to take away from the services that are supposed to be directed to those people mali po yun lalo na if you have the means and if you have the money to buy groceries, buy food, and support yourself, which 
as an international student, you should. And to post it on social media, to tell everybody else in your situation, other international students, hey, come here, libre puto. Ang dami pong galit na Canadian na yun. Like I was just reading through the comment section, you know, sabi nila, hey, you know what? If you can't afford to live here, don't come here. Sinasabi rin po nila, being an international student is a privilege, not a right. Ang dami po nagsasabi rin, this is not how Canada is supposed to be. You know, we are a nation of people helping each other, not a nation of people trying to take advantage of each other. So mangyayari po dito because of, of this, lahat po yan, lahat ng food banks, eventually they're gonna follow suit. So guys, all Kuya Puto is saying, if you're planning to come here as an international student, let's continue to have delicadesa. I'm not saying this to target any specific type of ethnicity na nagtitake advantage ng system, okay? I'm pretty sure, you know, there's always somebody in every ethnicity that comes here that's considered a bad apple. It's just how it is. But just remember, pag pumunta po kayo dito as an international student, make sure everything is done legit. Make sure you can afford it. Make sure you respect all the services that are provided by Canada to its citizens. So guys, I'd like to know your opinion about the matter. You know, because sa akin medyo, uh, it hits me here. Because like I said over the years, napakarami ko pong mga naging kaibigan, naging kakilala, that depended on the food bank at one time or another. And for people to abuse it, it's not right. It really isn't. Because a lot of people really depend on it for their life. So sana naman po, nakatulong to kahit konti. At least I was able to show you the reality, or at least one reality of buhay dito sa Canada. So this is Kuya Puto, wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble. Keep your hustle strong. I'll see you in the next one.